In this example, we're going to factor this algebraic expression. So the first thing we always look for is a greatest common factor, but since the first term has only m's and the last term has only numbers, we know there's no greatest common factor. So the next thing to notice is that there are four terms, so let's go ahead and try factor by grouping first. So out of the first pair, we can factor an m squared out, and what's left is m plus 3. And from the second pair, it looks like we can factor a negative 9 out, and I'll be left with, again, m plus 3. So since these leftovers are the same, I can factor them out. So m plus 3 times, and we'll have for our other quantity, m squared minus 9. Well, what's nice about that is, it looks like we have a difference of squares factorization here with the m squared minus 9. So I'm going to factor that down to m minus 3 and m plus 3, because the square root of m squared is m, and the square root of 9 is 3, and we have 1 minus and 1 plus. And then this m plus 3 will come along for the ride. And what we notice now is I actually have two m plus 3 factors. So I can say m plus 3 squared times m minus 3. And here is the fully factored form for this original algebraic expression.